How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another Terraria video. Today we're going to have a look at something that quite a few people have asked me about and it's making a an easy mimic farm early in hard mode. And it's something that I like to yeah set up when I'm just playing my own worlds for fun. And you might notice I've got uh, a depth meter equipped or a GPS. Um, mimics can spawn at most levels underground, but I have the most luck just using my elevator and going about 500 feet below, which is usually uh, called the cavern layer. Okay guys, here we are about 400 feet down, and I know I said 500, but all I'm really looking for, well this is the cavern layer anyway, but um, it can be different heights on different worlds. And I've found this fairly open room to start with, and I kind of like that. So the first thing we're going to do is just build a long straight platform. And that's because I find that Mimics have a good chance of spawning on nice flat areas. They can spawn anywhere, obviously. But uh, it's nice, especially for you as well, just to have a really flat area to move back and forward on. Which can really help while you're farming for them too. So we're just digging it out and going to put a nice flat sort of uh, platform going down. Okay, so basically all I've done is I've made a nice long platform that goes about 80 blocks to the right and 80 blocks to the left, roughly. I didn't count them exactly because it's not really necessary at this stage. And then the next thing I do... Oh, mechanical eye. <laughs> cool. The next thing I generally do is set up a water candle right in the middle. And the cool thing about doing a mimic farm like this is there's no rush. Like you can just enjoy it while you're building it. So I set up one of those. And uh, what I like to do next is set up a dart statue, a dart trap each side. And the point of that is because mimics are a stationary mob, uh, getting hit by the weak dart traps actually gets them moving. So you just set the... Actually, I can hear one now. <laughs> Here it comes. Hey, Mimic, what's up? <laughs> cool. So we can see it's working already, which is awesome. So I'm going to actuate these and kill this worm. Oh my gosh, too many mobs. <laughs> okay. So I'll just put down a timer. And then that'll shoot. And I'll take those actuators off. Beautiful. Okay, so basically those darts are going to travel along the passageways. And anytime it hits a Mimic, it'll get it moving. And the reason the Mimic came along before is because uh, my ravens hit it. Alright, so basically from here, it's like when you build any AFK farm. There'll be gaps all around. And I guess... You know, depending how efficient you want this farm to be is how long you'll spend on it now. So what I generally do next is I start hollowing out the ceiling a bit. Okay guys, welcome back. So I've just been having some fun mining out a bit of an area here and yeah, sort of just digging away and fighting mobs as I'm going. And this is kind of something I really enjoy about Terraria. Sometimes it's fun just to play it, you know, and just to enjoy fighting some mobs and farming. So we got a few items dropping, a couple of mimics spawned, got an armor polish, got a compass from a mimic and the star cloak you saw before. And I thought, well, this is a neutral biome, so let's make it hello and collect some uh, souls of light while we're doing this. So this is a cool thing you can do while you're farming for mimics as well. What I'm going to do is put some rows of pearlstone down. And that way we can also be farming uh, crystal shards while we're doing this too. So to make a hello biome, you need 100, 100 pearlstone blocks. So what I'm going to do is count it exactly, so if I ever want to take the hello away, I don't have to worry about, oh, how many blocks do I need to take away, like, oh no, straight away. 
So all we're doing is just laying some nice thin paths down here. And let's put some lights on it too. And the cool thing about this is it's got a chance to spawn some more mimics on it if we run it out across the screen. Um, and also it's a nice easy platform we can collect crystal shards on as well. Okay, so once you've got this set up and you're starting to collect some souls of light and you're just having a bit of fun running back and forward fighting all the different mobs, you might even want to increase the efficiency of this farm even further. And you'll notice that mobs are spawning in some of the gaps underneath. And a good way to fix that is to use, one of my favorite is using sand. Uh, the reason for using sand is because if you place it, it can actually fall through blocks. So if you can manage to get to gaps, you can really quickly and easily get at different blocks. Okay guys, welcome back. So basically all I've done is gone along and plug as many gaps as I could find with sand. And you can see on my map there I've been having a bit of fun with it. And uh, yeah, so I've noticed the spawn rate has gone up quite a bit since a lot of the gaps have been filled. And yeah, just started getting a few more drops, getting some hallowed stuff too like the beam sword which is cool and key molds. Now the last thing you could do to this little area if you really wanted to leave it for a while is I'd probably make a little AFK volcano here and you guys probably see I do this a bit but it is a it's a really simple design and it'll allow you to chill out and collect a lot of stuff while you're AFK. So if you haven't seen if you know if you're new to my vids or you would just like to see how it's built there's not much to it, so what I'm actually going to do is, hmm, I'm going to have to pick up the dart traps quickly. And we'll build around our little area here, so it doesn't have to be a big space. Just start with like a little shape like this, and we'll probably have to move our little uh, crystal shard farm. We might just move it to the left and right. Okay, so basically for the design, all you want to do is make a bit of a an entry where the mobs will fall in and just like that and then basically you just go one block down each time so you're just sort of building like a an edge that the mobs can walk up whoops there we go gee there's stuff happening everywhere here guys and obviously the water candles help with that a bit too so the mobs walk up to here fall in and this is where you'll have like a little lava trap and basically what I'd be doing is just setting the dart trap up there and that way it'll shoot out and it'll activate any mimics that are sitting along here. Oh my gosh, there's mobs everywhere! <laughs> They're everywhere! <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so we've got the pyramid finished and yeah, it's working pretty nicely. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in which is one of the main things. And uh, yeah, we've got lots of good loot. It seems, yeah, spawned quite a few mimics while we've been doing this. Okay guys, the last thing I like to do that can have a positive effect on spawn rates is add some uh, jungle biome blocks. Now I realise I'm using lizard bricks, um, but I'm only doing that for the sake of speed because it's an instant biome change. You can do exactly the same just by using mud blocks and planting jungle grass seeds in them. So all I'm doing is hollowing out a bit of an area underneath our little farm here. And I probably could have counted it, but I, yeah, <laughs> couldn't be bothered, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, don't, I don't mean that in a slack way, but we'll know when we've got enough room when we've used 80 blocks. So basically it takes 80 jungle blocks to make a jungle biome. And that doesn't mean we're going to be spawning jungle mobs. All it's going to do is increase the spawn rate. Because unless uh, the block is exposed, like meaning I had uh, jungle blocks along the top, 
it won't actually spawn any mobs. So yeah, so we get the benefits of the higher spawn rate without having to worry about all the jungle mobs in here because we don't want them. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry jungle mobs, we don't want you. Okay. So. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the music has changed to Jungle Biome. And basically, I don't know, <laughs> it looks similar-ish, but that will increase the spawn rate again. So, where's my water candle? So now I've got water candles, I've got Jungle Biome, um, and we've plugged up a lot of the gaps. So this is probably about, just about as far as you can push it with minimal effort making this farming area. So what have I used? I've used two dart traps, a bit of wire, a couple of water candles, and just basic blocks. And remember, to add this jungle biome, you can do it just with mud blocks and jungle grass seeds. So this is all stuff you could set up at the start of hard mode. Okay guys, thanks as always for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it and I love how active and positive you all are in the comments. It's great to see. Okay, so we've got some shout outs as always. We've got PDX Wiles has said, if you like pina coladas, well, then eat cookies. <laughs> I like it. Nice one. We've got Gaming with Dan said, two witches watched two watches. Which watch? What? <laughs> which witch watched which watch? Ah, oh, I almost got that one out. <laughs> I think you guys like to see me tripping up on tongue twisters. <laughs> okay, we've got Donald Anderson has asked me to say in a Santa voice. <laughs> um... I don't know, how would Santa sound like an old man, I suppose? He's asked me to... No, that sounds British. He's asked... <laughs> what am... What's an old guy sound like? Oh, where is it, Sonny? <laughs> you should now pass. <laughs> that sounds like the scariest Santa I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, uh, Geordie's asked me to say in a loud voice, MAND. And apparently that's Dutch, and I looked it up and it means basket. <laughs> so I don't know if that's some in-joke I'm not getting. Uh, we've got Master Hyperion's asked me to say I was born on a pirate ship holding my tongue. All right, so I'm going to have to take my hand off the mouse for this. So, all right, so I'm holding my tongue, and I'm going to try and say it. All right, I was born on a pirate ship. Wow, that was really good. Wow, I can't believe I could say that so good. That was awesome. All right, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, comments are always appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know you want to join us. Come and join our crew and cookies for everyone. All right, stay happy. And this is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And you can see that the Ice Golem's doing a bit of a dance here to his uh, rave disco tunes and his uh, fireworks are going everywhere here. And he's having a great time.